You are welcome to this class. Thank you for joining us. Here, we want to find the values of A and B in this equation given. Now, let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. And let's subtract equation 2 from 1. So, we have equation 1 minus equation 2. So, we have from equation 1, we have A squared minus B on the left hand side. Then that of equation 2 that will be minus b squared minus a. So we subtract the left hand side equals to 31 minus 31 becomes 0 on the right hand side. Then when we expand this with minus, we have a squared minus b minus b squared now plus a minus times minus plus a equals to 0. Then we can rearrange this and bring the squares together. We have a squared minus b squared. Then we can write plus a, then minus b equals to zero. So that from here, we have difference of two square here. That is from a squared minus b squared. So we can write this as a plus b multiply by a minus b as difference of 2 squared then plus a minus b equals to 0 and then uh, we can see from here that a minus b a minus b is common when we take it out we have a minus b out then what is left here is a plus b then we have taken a minus b out so what will be left here now okay no need to open this bracket so we can make just one bracket now so a plus b is left here then what is left here is just one then which is equals to zero and from here we have two numbers multiplied and the result is given us zero so we have two cases here so for case one now for case one we have a minus b is equal to zero so for this case now when we solve we have a will be equal to when we take minus b here so a is equal to b now we have the other case case two now for case two from there we have that a plus b then plus one is also equals to zero and when we solve for there we have a will be equals to minus b taking minus taking b and one to that side become minus b minus one then from here we can write equation one so from equation one now we have from one we have a square minus b equals to 31 so let's solve this from equation 1 and then since we know that a is equals to b so instead of writing a here we can write b as well so a is equals to b in this case so we can write this as b square minus b then let's take 31 to this side become minus 31 then equals to 0 so by the time we look at this we can see that we have a quadratic equation that we can solve using the quadratic formula we can say b will now be equal to minus b in this case as minus minus one plus or minus square root of b square minus one square then minus four a a is one coefficient of b square minus four ac then minus 31 then over 2a, 2 times 1 is still 2, because our a is 1. So from there, we get the value of b here, we have b now equals to minus times minus become plus, that's 1 plus or minus, square root of 1 plus 4, you know, minus times minus become plus, 4 times 31, we have 124. So by the time this over 2, when we add it together, from the square root there, we have b equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 
125 over 2 and 125 can be separated as root 20, 125 can be separated as root 25 times 5 and root 25 is 5 so that's b equals to 1 plus or minus 5 root 5 same thing as root 125 then over 2 so we have this you know value of b and uh, from this case we understand that a is equals to b so we have a equals to b from this case that means the value of a as well here is also so a is also 1 plus or minus 5 root 5 over 2 so we have the value of a and b from this case now when we check the second case here we check the second case from here then we from equation one as well so when we look from our uh, equation one as well from here we have a square minus b equals to 31 and we know that our a here is minus b minus one so instead of writing a now let's write minus b minus one so we have minus b minus one squared then minus b equals to 31 and by the time we expand this so expansion of this will give us b squared then we have 2 times minus b times minus 1 that's plus 2b then we have minus 1 squared that's plus 1 then this is the expansion of this then we have minus b then equals to 31 so when we solve this, we have b square, 2b minus b, that's plus b, then plus 1. Then we can take 31 from here, become minus, that's minus 31, then left with 0 here. So we now have b square plus b, then we have 1 minus 31, that's minus 30, then equals 0. So we can factorize this now. When we solve this by factorizing, we have b square plus 6b minus 5b. That will give us plus b. That will give us minus 30b square. So minus 30 equals to 0. So grouping these two, we have b out. Then b plus 6. Then from here, we have minus 5. We have b plus 6. Then equals to 0. So b plus 6 is common. We bring it out. So we have b plus 6. Then b minus 5, which is equals to 0. So that means from here, we have two solutions. We have b plus 6 equals to 0. Or we have b minus 5 equals to 0. So b equals to minus 6 from here. Or we have our b is equals to 5. Now, from this particular case, b is minus 6. When b is minus 6, we can get the corresponding value of a because we have that a equals to minus b minus 1. So now, since from there, a is minus b minus 1, so for the first value of a, we have a equals to minus b minus 1. So for b equals to minus 6 now, we can put minus 6 for b. That means a in this case will now be equals to minus, this minus already here, then minus 6 minus 1. So minus times minus become plus. We have a equals to 6, then minus 1. So that means a is equals to 5. So when b is equals to minus 6, we have a equals to 5. Then the second value of b we got is 5. So we got b is equals to 5 from here. And then also when b is equals to 5, we can also get the corresponding value of a. Then we use this relation as well. That is... So, b equals to 5, when b is equals to 5, we have from this relation, so a will now
now v equals to minus 5 minus 1. So that means a equals to minus 6. So we have a equals to minus 6. When b is equal to 5, a is equal to minus 6. So these are the values of a and b that we have. The first, you know, value of a, let's write it out now. We have a comma b to be equals to a is 5, then b is minus 6, and we also have, we also have, when a is minus 6 now, then b is 5. So we have this set of solution, and the one we got the other time, we have a, you know, b is equals to, we have a to be 1 plus or minus 5 root 5 over 2, and also we have 1 plus or minus 5 root 5 over 2. So the value of a and b are the same in this particular you know, case. And when we separate this, we have two solutions here. So these are two solutions, making four all together. And then we say thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.